Don't rush into things or panic. Um, this is relevant not only for the Philippines, but in general. Um, I remember the uh, Ponzi scheme, um, which is still famous in the Philippines as the legacy scandal, uh, which was for some investments where basically you're guaranteed double your money in a year, double your money in three years, that sort of thing. When it happened, um, I almost looked, went in there myself. But what I did is I had the money available, but instead of investing, I was going back to the UK for a couple of months to work anyway. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm not going to invest now. I'll take a couple of months to think about it. And the person that was dealing with it um, was trying to sell it really hard. You know, they, they were pushing it, you know, very aggressive in the selling, which also puts me off buying anyway. So what happened? I come back after a couple of months and the whole thing had collapsed. That was a prime example of taking my time. I didn't panic when they're trying to say, oh, there's only so many people who can invest and all this sort of thing. Don't do it. But in life in general, things come up where you'll hear people say, oh, I wish I had done that. But what happens is, um, like a friend of mine, who he had the offer to go in um, on an investment in a garden centre. He would have been a millionaire by now, uh, without a doubt. But at the same time, when people go, oh, I should have done that. When they didn't, they already had other things that the investment was uh, going to go into, or they couldn't afford to take the risk. Now, that bit never gets into these equations, because even when um, somebody becomes a millionaire, they'll say, oh, just take the risk. They've taken a lot of risks, but they're calculated. Um, I do a lot of calculated risk. I, I'll gamble some money on an idea, but it's money that's already come from a profit of something else. So it's what I call not real money. Um, it's not going to impact me at all. If it has a positive outcome, it has a positive impact. If it's lost completely, it doesn't make any difference because the money will actually build back up again from wherever I got the original money from in the first place. The other side of this is panicking. People panic on things. They, even when you're like leaving school or whatever, everyone's going, what do you want to do? Well, the fact is most people don't know what they want to do. They haven't got enough world experience or knowledge to make that decision. But it's trying to put you in a little box. The schooling system is geared to conformity. Conformity means get a job, you're going to do this. That is not how most millionaires end up millionaires. They become millionaires because they think out of the box, something that schools don't don't like doing, except possibly in art, but even I don't understand art. Um, interpretations and things. Uh, in, even in the photography class uh, club that I'm a partial member, that I'll probably have to sign up next time I go, um, every photo has a description and a name and things like that. It's a picture. For me, beauty is to be admired. It doesn't need to be um, dissected. Interpretations open to any person. It doesn't mean everybody has to sit and discuss it. But that's some people's um, interpretation of art and photography. Nothing wrong with it, but for me personally, a picture is a picture, and I see what I see. Um, but the went off on a tangent there. The point is, life will sort itself out. Um, you may, you will struggle to find work when you when you leave school. You will find that the job you may be in even now is not the job you wanted to do. But the key to it all is managing. Um, when I first started, uh, I, in fact, I'll do another video on how I got to where I am today. Um, but the, the point being is don't panic into things. Don't go into something just because somebody's told you to do it. Don't do it because you've got no other alternative at that time, unless there's a reason. Uh, for example, working nights at a bar um, to pay your bills. That's not panicking, that's common sense. Uh, but buying a car to get to work that's gonna cost you more than you earn that is often panic buying, <laughs> but 
just take your time. Everything should be calculated. It doesn't mean you don't take risks. Uh, risks come from calculated risks. But the main thing is not just doing it. It's thinking about it. All right, thanks for watching.